actually watched the music video to that and I suggest you all do it. Like SZA is so incredible. I've actually heard that she's touring the UK. I don't know whether it's a rumor, so don't get excited. But if she is, I will be the first person to purchase. Like I, I love her. And I feel like men don't get it. Like they just think she talks nonsense. Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon. It's currently like 1.30. I don't know what came over me. I just felt it in my spirit that I wanted to vlog. I didn't even plan to vlog over the weekend, but I just have this overwhelming feeling that I want to vlog and I'm gonna go with it. I'm trying to listen to my intuition a little bit more this year. So I'm gonna vlog over the next few days. It's currently Thursday. So it's not even like a weekly vlog. It's just gonna be me and you chilling over the next few days. I don't even have anything planned. The only thing I do have is a lounge event tomorrow. I'm currently opening some PR. And when I tell you this was the most mixed emotion PR I've ever received. So can you imagine it says, donut delivery i am obsessed with donuts like i me and manny just love donuts so i was thinking oh my god i've just been gifted some donuts like i'm gonna go upstairs and eat one right away when i opened the box it was gordon's now i'm not a gin drinker i don't really like i don't mind gin in the summer i'll probably have like one or two over the summer period but i'm definitely not a gin girl by any means especially a pink gin and that's exactly what this was i'm not ungrateful <laughs> i promise i'm not ungrateful i know exactly who this is going to i was so upset when i thought i was getting donuts and this is what came i mean it's very cute to be fair and my best friend emma literally loves pink gin so i feel like that'll be such a cute galentine's gift for her so there's pink gin there's these little gordon glasses in there and then there's some lemonade which i don't even drink gin with lemonade so that she will definitely love this as i was opening it i think even manny got a clip of it i was like no where are the donuts and then he picked up the box there was another box inside and thank the lord there was a donut. I mean, there was only two, but it's like a, a little decorating donut situation. So I'm going to ask Manny if he wants to do this after lunch. We have two little donuts. I really didn't think these would be fresh because they've been delivered, but they're still like really squishy and soft. I think this one, I, I thought it was red velvet, but they smell the same. So I think it's just food coloring. It's got love hearts. It's got sprinkles. I think these are like, I'm gonna have one. I think these are like little Smarties. They are. And then look how cute. We've got these piping bags. So we can pipe on them as well. Red, pink, and another pink. These are gonna be so cute. And then we've also got some more gin, which I think I'll keep these in the cupboard just in case anyone comes over and they like gin. And then I also, I've decided that I'm not someone that has ever invested in camera equipment. My tripods are literally falling apart. So I thought I'm gonna invest in some more camera equipment. I bought a new vlogging tripod. I don't actually know how this is gonna work. This is from Nua and it feels so heavy. Like this feels like a, a professional vlogging thing. Is there such a thing as professional vloggers? I don't even know, but I'm gonna try this on. I'll see. This is what it looks like so far with me just holding the camera. I don't even know if that's made a difference, but to hold it, it feels more like stable rather than me being like super shaky, especially if I was gonna do a montage. I'll do a montage of my window. It's just way less shaky because when I'm holding the camera, I feel like I'm like this. But this, look how smooth, watch. Ah probably still shaking because I've not had lunch yet. Yeah, I've not really done much this morning apart from go for a walk, send off a Depop parcel and have breakfast. And that's literally all I've done all morning. It's just gonna be a little bit of an errand day, but I thought you guys can come along for an errand day anyway. Oh my God, this even like stands up properly. Wait, wait. Gosh, I'm gonna flash you all in a second. Um, it's not very tall, but I mean, it works. I probably need to put you on something. I'll use this candle. Oh my God, that's so much 
better. I really needed a tripod, I feel like. The only thing is, when I'm out in public and I'm vlogging, it's already a little bit daunting. Whereas having this huge stick is gonna draw even more attention. So we'll test that theory out today because I do actually need to go out and about. Um, I've seen this Lego that I really want on TikTok and it's like a bonsai tree. I've never owned Lego before. I was never the Lego girl. So I'm gonna go and buy this bonsai tree. There's actually a Lego store in Manchester. I didn't realize how expensive Lego is. Like, is it like a collector's thing? I don't know, but I think it'll make quite a cute little ornament because, oh my God, guys, I've not even shown you yet. I've had this delivered. I've had a lot of deliveries this week. I've had this delivered for my dressing room. It's not like fully filled out yet, but I just thought this will look so much better in the background of my TikToks because I usually film my TikTok get ready with me's in this corner. Excuse that that's more deliveries um so I thought this would be really nice and if I'm doing like a get ready with me on YouTube it's just a nice little unit so I need to start filling it out I've already provisionally started filling it out and I do really like the two metallic bags on the top um I've got my new shoes on there as well which are these Mason Margellas I literally bought these the other day and I'm obsessed they're so cute. Although I do need to buy the socks because I've tried them on and they do actually keep your toes like that. Like your toes have separation anxiety in these. So I do need the socks to go with them. Yeah, for now I'm just gonna make some lunch. Um, I do have some pasta left over from yesterday. So I might make a tuna pasta. I have an obsession with tuna at the minute. That is so gross because it's literally, if you think about tuna, it's literally canned fish, but so good um i feel like for once my fridge is actually not completely empty i either have a really really empty fridge or so full that it looks like there's a family of four that live here and at the minute it's looking like the family of four or do i just do a quickie by the way these two noodles are my favorite these are my top two ramens in the world ever so the samyang carbonara noodles oh my gosh i used to love like the original black packet which is like the hot chicken one but the carbonara one is on crack like this is so good i think because it's a little bit creamier it's not as spicy like i really enjoy the samyang spice because it actually burns your taste buds off but i kind of like that but the creaminess kind of tones it down a little bit, so good. And then Indomie, Manny introduced me to this and they're like, I can't believe I used to have super noodles. Like super noodles are the most flavorless things in the entire world. These, wow. Why is it hard? Guys, it's, it's pasta. It's not normal pasta, bro. It is. It's macaroni. This isn't good corn, the day after. Corn, that's why. It's not corn, it's chickpea. Chickpea. Yeah, not good. You can make your own chickpea pasta. Do you have chickpea? No. Tuna wrap it is. Oh my god, I really loaded this up, but I kind of made it like oh, a nice. Joe and the Juice style. So it's got tomatoes, avocado, jalapenos, dill, um pesto oh no i didn't put pesto on because the pesto went moldy um mayonnaise and that's it hi i'm just getting ready for the day guys i literally live in these t-shirts i spoke about them in my plt haul they're like skims they're like skims they feel amazing they just fit so well i'm gonna link it down below because i feel like you all need them and they're literally like i think i paid six pounds because obviously I got sent them when I did the haul, but I bought them before anyway. And when I bought them, I think they was on sale for like six pounds, but they're so worth it. I literally wear them every single day. I'm gonna wear these pants that I got on ASOS and then maybe like a hoodie. I don't know. I just wanna be comfy and cozy because I know that I'm gonna be doing a lot of walking. I'm also gonna wear these. I literally don't go anywhere without these. And these are probably one of my favorite purchases ever. Like when I tell you, you can't hear anything else. You literally feel like you're in your own bubble. I know they're expensive, but they're so worth it. 
So this is what I've gone for today. Just a simple errand, I can't even hear myself talk. Just a simple errand fit. So I've got this sweater on from Sunder Bay, mainly, bless you, mainly because it's just warm and cozy. <laughs> um, I've got this leather bomber on, these coated like leather, they're not leather, they're like a coated jean, but again, they're super warm and just really comfy. Um, trainers will not be mentioned. Bag also won't be mentioned. This is gonna sound so pathetic, but it's taking me every bone in my body not to walk to my nail shop because this is what we're looking like currently. I'm trying to hold off for my Valentine's nails, so I'm just gonna have to stick with the short ones for now. I don't even know what I'm gonna get for Valentine's. Guys, the Zara sale is officially over. You don't understand how happy that makes me. Like this sale feels like it's been going on forever and they've got all the new stuff in and it's actually fire. We wanna do a haul soon, but I think I'm just gonna do a big order online, but I'm eyeing up what I wanna use in the haul. Like I'm eyeing up what I wanna buy online and it's actually so nice. Okay, I've returned what I needed to return and somehow ended up in the women's section. I've already bought something and I'm just about to try on these two pieces. So we've got this Jacquemus dress. It feels unbelievable. I think it's a dress. It's quite a short dress if it is. And then we also have this little knit like cardigan jumper thing. And the best thing is all of their new season stuff is out finally. Like I was so bored of looking at all the old season stuff. So I'm gonna try these on. So this is the Jacquemus like cardigan. Oh my God, that's so cute. It's like cropped, it's really thick. Oh my God, that is so cute. It's literally like the thickest knit, so it's gonna keep me really warm as well. Okay, then I'm gonna try the dress on. I feel like I prefer this over the cardigan because the cardigan, it was nice, but I don't think it was worth 500, whereas this is actually so cute. Like the shape of it and like the way it fits. I mean, let's ignore the socks, but it's so gorgeous. You can probably see it better like that. Like it has this crossover section and like a little cut out. A little short though, but I kind of don't mind it. Well, oh, this lighting's very blue. I got it. I got the dress and I think I'm gonna wear it next week because I don't think I've mentioned, but me and my mom and my auntie, we do like an annual girls trip every year to London and we usually do it just before Christmas, but everyone's schedule was just a little bit all over the place. So we said we'd do it in the new year. So we're gonna do a little girls trip to London and we've got the best itinerary. Like I'm taking my mum and auntie on a night out and I literally can't wait. So I think I might save it for London. As I'm currently in Lego, I didn't realize how many they were. Am I zoomed in there? I got the bonsai tree. Um, but there's so many, there's like little roses, there's Valentine's ones. So I think me and Manny are gonna build this over Valentine's, which I've realized, I think Valentine's is my second favorite holiday after Christmas. Like I actually love Valentine's day. So I'm gonna get us this for Valentine's. I'm gonna show you the other ones because there's actually so many cute ones. Look at this little Valentine's setup. They have Lego roses. This is only a small one as well, so I guess we could do that. We've got daffodils. Oh my God, look at that bouquet. But I think I really want this because I think this will look really good. You can do the green or the pink. I'm obviously gonna do the pink. This sounds like a lot of pieces. I guess it's like a jigsaw. I've literally never done or like made a Lego thing before. How was your day? You did a bad thing. What did I do? <laughs> Guys, this was the other thing in the bag. I bought a Loewe scarf. I've actually needed a scarf though. Or how long have I needed a scarf for? You've needed a scarf for a long time. So I got this one. It may have been an impulse buy, but I can wear it all the time. And then, um... Oh my God, show my flowers. Yeah. Look at this. Wow. Pretty colors, vibrant, vibrancy. And these are my flowers. She bought me flowers. I thought that might be a nice activity for us. Um, guys, I just brought my camera. I actually can't see what I'm filming, but we're gonna do our donuts. I'm literally looking at a blank screen right now.
promise I wasn't joking, this camera is genuinely on its arse. I dropped it, heard a snap, crackle and pop. I mean, it didn't sound good. And now I can't see anything, whatever. I'm just gonna hope and pray that this is an okay angle. We've just had dinner, I made a prawn, fried rice and it was delicious. I'm just about to take my makeup off. I'm gonna go have dessert and then we're gonna plan our day tomorrow. I do have some content that needs shooting tomorrow and I also have to pay my tax bill. If you're self-employed, you'll know it's coming up to that time where we have to pay our bills. So I need to go and sort all of my expenses out tomorrow. But what I'm thinking is, by the way, I'm just using the Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Cleansing Balm. Um, what I'm thinking is, I might actually go and work in a workspace. Because I usually do all my work from home, but I don't know, I always get distracted by washing or snacking or putting something on the TV. So I kind of want to go and work in, sorry, I probably look really scary, in a workspace. We're actually getting a Soho house in Manchester. I think we're getting one in April, I believe, um, which we're definitely going to get memberships for. But until then, we're going to actually go and try this place. It's called Juicy Street Warehouse and we've been there for dinner once, but we've never been during the day, so... We'll assess the vibes tomorrow, I think. Good morning, guys. Hello. I think my camera died yesterday while I was doing my skincare. I was literally in the middle of a sentence, but obviously because I can't see my screen, I didn't realize my battery was low. Um, I think I do need to go and get a new camera today because I've tried with the blank screen and it's really, it's not it. I'm not going to lie. So I think I'm going to go get a new camera today. Um, but I'm just starting out my morning with a coffee. I actually always make my Friday coffees a little bit special because I like to romanticize that on a Friday. Like we're at the end of the week, going into the weekend. So I always like to make a special coffee. So I'll either do something a little bit different. Today I've added whipped cream so good um or we'll order coffee i always like to romanticize my coffee on a friday morning because I have a coffee every morning so the fact that it's my friday coffee i really look forward to it that sounds really sad but i just think it's one way to romanticize my life so i'm having a whipped cream coffee and if you've not tried it I think my sister used to do this for me when I was first getting into coffee, which was at a very young age. I don't think I want to say on YouTube like how old I was when I started drinking coffee. I'm just doing my journal for the day. Hannah actually got it me for Christmas. I've not used it yet because I'm not going to lie, I've really been slacking on journaling. Like I haven't journaled in a long time. Did I journal this year? I probably have this year, but just not as much as I wanted to. So I'm going to get back into it. And I like it when journals have prompts because I think I got to the point where I was journaling so much that I didn't need prompts. I just kind of wrote down whatever I had on my mind. Whereas now, because I'm getting back into it again, I feel like I need prompts a little bit. So I had a read of it when she got it me for Christmas and it's so good. This one's the do it for yourself journal. And it's not like any other journal where it's the same question every day or I don't know, like there's just loads of really interesting prompts. I'll read a random one out. Let's follow a random page. Okay, so this one is... Make a bullet list of everything that could be a problem, then add a star next to it every time that it doesn't have a solution. You might be surprised what you see, what you find. So I'm gonna spend about 15 minutes journaling. I'm gonna have my coffee and then I think I'm gonna to go to Barry's today. What time is it? I've got a Barry's class in an hour. So yeah, I've got plenty of time to like get ready for the gym my journal i wanted to wake up a little bit earlier this morning just so i can do this i am very excited for today i think we're just going to do some work today during the day and then we've got a nice dinner with the girls later after the lounge event so yeah should be a very nice day this is my gym outfit for the day it's from adenola um, and then these are the gym trainers that I spoke about in my drive with me. I think these are probably one of my favorite purchases of the year. I think they're the most 
perfect gym trainers. I literally feel like I'm running on a cloud when I'm wearing these. And they're actually such a nice design as well. Like they're probably the nicest gym trainers I've seen. Cause usually I used to work out in Yeezys because I hate the look of gym trainers, but I actually really like these. And they're really good for just like running errands as well. But today at Barry's it's full body, which is the worst one for me. I usually like the leg days, but the full body days are so intense, right? Well, I'll see you either after the gym, in the gym, who knows? now six o'clock i've literally vlogged nothing today but to be fair it's literally just been a day of admin like when i tell you i've been on my laptop from when i got back from the gym till about 20 minutes ago it's been very intense and i didn't even end up going out i just stayed in got all of my work done and now i can get ready for girls night which i'm so excited about i just had a dress delivered from jaded and listen to this so i had a dress delivered and I love it, but I had no shoes to go with it. It needed brown boots. I don't know why I thought I had brown boots. I must have dreamt about it. But anyway, needed brown boots. I tried it on with black. It didn't look right. And I said to Manny, I don't have any boots to go with this dress. Anyway, I walk in the living room. So I've put them in here for now because I'm so proud of them. And he's literally made me a pair of boots for tonight. Like, is that not the cutest thing? Boyfriend has made me boots to go on a girl's night out. I think that is so adorable. So these are what they look like. I'll show you them properly on because they don't look anything off. But we took inspo from the Loewe denim boots. So it kind of looks like you're wearing jeans at the bottom. They're just, they're amazing. I've not actually tried them on yet. Well, I've tried one on, but I've not tried them on together with the dress. So I'm going to do a little TikTok, get ready with me. Go there. Just drying at the minute in the little shelf. And I'm gonna start getting ready. This makeup is too much for the hair, I feel like. I mean, um, oh, Rach is FaceTiming me. Let's see what she has to say. <laughs> oh, wow, you look nice. I'm just waiting for Rach in her lobby, so I'll do a little OOTD. So my dress is from Jaded. The coat is vintage. Shoes. Oh, what money made me. I hope you can see them. They're actually gorgeous. And my little LV bag. It's kind of busy down here, so I can't really talk too much, but I'm just waiting on Rach now. And then we're going to head off to the event first. <laughs> Metaphoric. No, it's Come all on. metaphorical. Obviously, it's all metaphorical. Um, but, yeah. like, do you see what I'm saying? But <laughs> why, so do, why do all men suck? Oh. Oh, no, no, I no, think no, they no. might be, though, no. because actually all men no. are obsessed with the opinion of other men. Uh, and uh, right. it's that like, part. oh, like. Good morning guys. Oh my god, this hair is gonna piss me off today. Um, I didn't vlog too much last night because whenever it's girls night, I don't really like to vlog that much because I feel like while we're all talking, eating, whatever, it's kind of ruining the vibes, me bringing out a camera. So I didn't vlog too much, but the lounge event was so good. We went to Rosso afterwards for dinner and everything was delicious. I'm kind of in a rush this morning, if you can't already tell, because I don't think I told you guys, but... I felt it in my spirit that I wanted to take myself on a solo date, kind of for Valentine's. I mean, it's a little bit early for Valentine's, but I just feel like 
I want to spend some time with myself and I want to do something that's a little bit out of my comfort zone. So I'm taking myself on a solo date today and I'm doing a cooking class by myself. Like obviously it's a class with people, but I'm doing it on my own. Like I'm going on my own. I feel very uncomfortable about it, but I'm excited at the same time. And we're going to be cooking a curry, which literally is my favorite food. It feels weird because I'll be cooking a curry at like 11 a.m. So it's 11 till 3. So I'll be there like four hours. Um, but I'm really excited. I'm excited to just step out of my comfort zone, maybe learn some new things. I'm really enjoying cooking at the minute as well. So whatever I learn will be amazing. So I'm just getting ready to go. Um, this is my outfit for the day. I'll, I'll show you. I don't know actually what you're looking at, but <laughs> this is my outfit anyway. I'm gonna put a hoodie on and I'm meant to be there now. So <laughs> I do actually need to go. Fortunately, the place that I'm going to is like in my building. like a soft cooking class but it's like strict like I feel like I'm working in a restaurant kitchen but I kind of like that. Um, we're making curry, we're making three different kinds of curry. This one is like a Sri Lankan curry and we also have some flatbread which I'm just about to make. This is fun. It's a lot of fun. I'm probably the youngest here like everyone's over 40 so I feel a bit out of my depth. Oh my god. That is so good. Wow. Mm. Yeah. That's all the bread. So good. Why could I actually cry? This afternoon has been the nicest most wholesome afternoon I've ever had. I can't even explain it. Like I've made so many cute friends. I made friend with like this 80 year old man. And I mean, it's kind of a sad story because his wife passed away and he booked it for himself because he wants to learn how to cook because she's always cooks for him. And I can't even talk about it. It literally makes me emotional, but that was the nicest thing and I recommend you all do it. Get all of your ingredients. You don't have to wash up. You can take your food home. You can sit there and eat with everyone. And honestly, it was 10 out of 10 and I learned so much. I'm okay at cooking, but there's just little techniques on how not to burn your garlic and just loads of little things that I learned. So honestly 10 out of 10 recommend. I was thinking I'm either going to start a series on TikTok or YouTube where I take myself on a solo date every month so I think the next one that I want to do is like pottery painting or I don't know I want to do something like that again but if you're thinking about it honestly just do it because I was so nervous the morning of and I was thinking I could really do without this and it's just, it's made my week, honestly, like, I can't stop smiling, and every time I think about the class, and everyone I've met, and me doing this thing on my own, it makes me so emotional, I don't know why, it just, it makes me want to cry. Come home, and I've showered, me and Manny are debating whether to go out for dinner, or to have a cosy night, but I think we're going to have a cosy night, to be honest. He's tried my curry as well, and said it was 10 out of 10, so... Yeah, now it's a recipe that I can add to our like midweek meals. I'm going to end this vlog here. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh my God, I have to tell you by the way. So I have ordered a new camera because I filmed a little bit more of the cooking class for, for YouTube obviously. And when I came to edit it, I must have clicked like the zoom in button. And obviously I didn't know it was zoomed in. So the last part of the video is literally just zoomed into my face. And I obviously thought it was going to be this like cute cooking montage, but it's literally just my face and all of my facial expressions while I was cooking and me and Manny was crying laughing <laughs> watching these clips back. But I've ordered a new camera and I'm going to be vlogging next week as well because it's our annual girls trip. So 
yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you're thinking about it this is your sign to take yourself on a solo date I love you guys and i'll see you in the next video